I'm State Representative Tony Jurgens. The 2020 session is now underway. It remains such an honor to represent your interests in the Minnesota House of Representatives. There's plenty to do at the Capitol this year. Even though a budget was approved last session, we now have a forecasted budget surplus of $1.5 billion. It's very clear to me that since we continue to see budget surplus after budget surplus, state government is collecting too much money from Minnesotans. That's why one of my top priorities this year will be to look at ways to give surplus funds back to the taxpayers, especially senior citizens. I'm chief authoring a bill that would do just that by ending the taxation on Social Security benefits, a move that would benefit every Minnesota senior citizens. Besides tax relief, another option would be to use some surplus dollars to pay cash for statewide infrastructure projects, such as road and bridge projects, to reduce the amount we borrow with this year's capital investment bill. We will be discussing a capital investment proposal that funds construction projects around Minnesota. Typically, the bonding year of the legislative biennium is the even-numbered year, so we expect that by the end of the session, a bonding bill will be in place. This is another area where road and bridge infrastructure could receive funding attention, along with buildings in need of renovation on college campuses. I'm also hoping we can finally pass my bill that addresses lunch shaming in our schools. It's illegal for schools to demean students in order to collect lunch debt, but incidences across the state continue. Students may have their lunch thrown away or be embarrassed in front of their peers. They may be disciplined for their lunch debt or they may be limited from taking part in student activities. These are all ways students are punished for something that should be handled between the school district and the parents. In my opinion, it's time to let kids be kids. They have enough going on in their lives without having to be embarrassed in front of other students in the lunchroom. Wasting food and shaming students because of account balances is demeaning and goes against our values as Minnesotans, and my bill would work to ensure that doesn't happen again. As session moves forward, I would like to hear your thoughts on proposals making their way through the Minnesota House. Please contact me at any time at 651-296-3135 or by email at rep.tony.jurgens at house.mn. Thanks again for allowing me to represent your interests at the state capitol, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.